King Daniel. This song is called Driving Down the 101. And then in parentheses, I'm in love. It's okay, cause baby, I'm in love I'm in love, I'm in love It's okay, cause baby, I'm in love what is good, uh, Los Angeles? Welcome, guys. So this is the sauna, and we're here with the King Daniel, and we're about to interview him right now we're about to get a little in depth about him his character and everything about him and what he's all about so the king is in the house everyone hello the king hello, is welcome. in the house welcome to welcome. my house guys <laughs> all right. the king is here just for the viewers at home i mean the king daniel is my instagram handle but my name is just king daniel um but continue what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so so how, how did you become of royalty? I mean. Mm. Well, it's. Uh, OK, so Elvis has been dead a long time. Like, let's stop. Yeah. Mm. Let's stop gone. joking about it. He's yeah. gone. He's yeah. been gone. Yeah. When I was a kid, he was already long gone. Yeah. And uh, no disrespect to Elvis's family, but there's a new king in town. I believe fully with my heart that I am uh, the modern king of rock and roll and I'll defend uh, that claim with my life hell yeah nice nice so tell us more about I guess how you got into music itself I mean we know you're a vocalist you play guitar <clears throat> was that your first instrument yes well my first instrument is uh, my voice my singing voice. Yeah. And then I play the guitar to accompany myself singing. But um, I have some friends that are so good at guitar that it's like hard to like think of myself as like a guitarist. So you, you know? see yourself. I kind of just whack it and just like it. <laughs> it helps me. It's something I play to sing. Hope maybe one day I'll do a guitar solo. That would be really, that's a dream you. of mine. Mm -hmm. When I play like Madison Square Garden, I'm going to like practice and learn a guitar solo. <laughs> <laughs> but uh but I think of myself as just a singer and a songwriter. Okay. Um, do you know when I am just chilling in autopilot mode, I'm s all of a sudden I'll be singing a melody in my head. So it's like um, I'm just a conduit to the uh, you know the songwriting gods, the rock and roll gods. 
I'm the king. So who so who are those gods to you? Like what got you into singing songwriting? Okay, I, I love the mamas. I love the papas. Because nice. <laughs> <laughs> I like the mamas and the papas. Uh, I just, um, you know, I love all the greats. You know, I could talk about Bob all Dylan, but on the tracks you know, and, yeah. and do mm-hmm. all that. But yeah. um, for me, it really, uh, for me, when I went on my first rock and roll tour, I realized, okay, like, even if I don't really make any money doing this, like, I'm doing this. Like, this is it. Like, yeah. this is my that calling. Passion, yeah. Like, I felt like a real calling. Like, um, and I've heard people say before that, all growing up, like, oh, yeah, it's just my calling, like, calling from God and stuff. And then I was just like, well, I don't know about this whole God thing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, like, what a calling is. Like, I don't have any calling. I just like to sing and stuff. So then, turns out that could be a calling. So uh, now I'm a singer songwriter. I'm here. I am the modern king of rock and roll, ready to take over the whole game. Hell yeah! Nice. Ready to kill them all. I, I want to approach all. it. I want to approach it more. Uh, for me, it's very frustrating. I'm full of anger almost mm. in this yeah. quest because um, it's all these people like singing about the forest right now. There's like just. I think it could be more um, like if you look at the hip hop game, like mm-hmm. I plan on taking more of that kind of strategy and uh, coming out guns blazing and I'll start a feud with another folk singer. Like I don't <laughs> give a fuck. Like, I don't give yeah. a fuck. Like I'll get in a fight. Yeah. I'll get arrested. Like I'll, if I can get a gold plated gun, I'm going to get one. Like yeah. that would be dope. Yeah. So, <laughs> Dang. So while I do sing about love songs in mm-hmm. California and spirituality, I'm like a pretty bad motherfucker, you know. Yeah. Okay. Like, that's that's me. That's why I'm the king. So okay. you're like a, you're trying to approach it in more of like a hip hop sense or yeah, like strategy. It's just like, like, like yeah, I'm trying to approach it in a hip hop sense. Like you strategy. know, fuck all those mountains and those wolves. Yeah. You know, like like I think I'm in the right city, now all these people. Badass, you yeah, know? I think these people. A lot of uh, of these like almost fake um, singer songwriter guys like really if you really look at the pop industry right now mm-hmm. there's like look at like Ed Sheeran Sean Mendez um, I don't I'm trying to remember the other one's names but it's so hard because they're just so bland it's like clean shaven right down to the skin like plus moisturizer yeah it's like the smoothest faces I've ever seen um, and they're just like pretending to like be singer songwriter guys, but they have their songs written by other people. So mm-hmm. it's just like almost bizarre. And I don't think uh, people will stand for that much longer once they start hearing yeah. the, the real shit. You yeah, know? I once completely agree with the good you. Stuff. Yeah. So oh, it's shit. just like, I think it's prime for the taking, you know? Yeah. I think it's prime for the taking. That's what yeah. I'm saying. In a hip hop sense, it's like, all right, well, these people bunch of pussies like uh, we're about to take over the game like let's take over the yeah. game and then when we take over the game let's look cool doing it yeah let's fucking get some chains like let's get some jewels yeah, yeah. that's what i'm all about yeah, yeah. I-, I feel like a lot of uh today's audience members actually um they're not aware that there are a lot of ghost what Ghost writers nowadays. Yeah, ghost yeah. writers in the industry, not just for hip hop, but also I mean, like all genres. Like you said, like folk pop music it's just bullshit. It's so crazy. Like, I heard, I just found out that guy Tyga is like from Calabasas. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And like, <clears throat> but he has all those tattoos, you know? <laughs> like, I thought he was a bad motherfucker. Yeah, like, yeah. when Some I just heard bad. about him, I was like, oh shit. But then apparently he's from Calabasas and he's just been like trying to become famous since he was a kid. Yeah. And then he uh, has songs, yeah, written by other people. Like, what? Yeah, right. <laughs> like, why is that even a thing? Like, yeah. And then as a fan, I think once you're a fan and you find out stuff like that, it's like, well, I'm not really that much of a fan. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's, it's almost right. like a, a little... it breaks the magic of it, honestly. Yeah. Like, well, that's just weird. Why, yeah. How could I be a fan of that? Like, yeah. who who's gonna rep? Like, like I'm not from Calabasas, so I'm certainly not about to rep Calabasas yeah. and rep like, you know, nah, <laughs> <laughs> nah, Tyga. So hopefully, this interview will start my first feud with Tyga. Ooh, you heard it here. <laughs> my sexy right feud. Here. Tyga, Watch out for King Daniel. Watch out, Tyga, because <laughs> I write my songs 
Um, I'm skinny too, but I'll choke you the fuck out. I'm a blue belt at jiu-jitsu, guys. This is another nice. one of my passions in, in life, Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Do you want to do some moves in front of the camera just real quick? Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> I don't want to scare anybody at home. I'm a, uh, I'm a musician right. first and foremost. Yes. But uh, Taga should be scared. Anyway, <laughs> All, right. All right. All right. This is a new song called Heroin. This is how, this is how it goes. <laughs> Love you more than anyone Love you more than anyone Love you more than anyone Has ever loved anyone before Come and stick the needle in Cause baby you're my heroin Lying naked on the bathroom floor Come on baby, baby I want more, 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 more Um, tell us more about, I guess, your writing process. You know, you were saying that you were just chilling, hanging out, and you just started thinking of melodies. Is that how most of your songs start out? Or Yes. <clears throat> so, um, I have before, uh, you know, thought of things on piano or guitar and then written to, like, a melody or to an mm. instrument and uh, have wrote with other friends and stuff to instruments but <clears throat> the majority of the stuff i've been doing uh with this whole project and in the last like two years um is you know maybe i'll smoke a little weed first or maybe i'll be relaxing mm -hmm. somehow or another sometimes in the shower yeah you know yeah but uh when inspiration hits you know but um I get that inspiration and I'm pretty much just singing the melodies in my head and figuring it out. I'll type out stuff on onto my uh, iPhone notes. Mm -hmm. um, you know, once I have like the skeleton of the melody, but I'm figuring out a second verse or something. Mm -hmm. But um, for the most part, I try to do it and not play the guitar on it until it's almost done because since I'm not uh like a virtuoso at the guitar if i'm singing like crazy key changes and stuff mm -hmm. in my original melody like i don't want to go play piano or guitar and like dumb the song down yeah um, so okay. then i've been waiting till later to get to the instrument and doing it more a cappella, like in the beginning and i found that my melodies have been like the strongest melodies i've ever written because it's like if you're if you have to just sing it to yourself mm -hmm. to be grooving into it or sing it to somebody else to describe it and get them to groove into it, but there's no instruments playing at all, and you could do that just with the vocal. Like that's a good song usually. Yeah, that's you a know? powerful like, that's uh, a way to song. present the song too. 
It's a good song. So it's like, to me, the melody, the melody and the words, you know, it's what it's all about. It, if it's just, you can convey more of the emotion of what you're trying to say mm -hmm. with the melody itself um, and along with the words. And the combination of those two, I think, is the most important thing in a song. But that's just what I'm interested in right now. Of course, there's tons of great stuff out there, jazz. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking Ooh. whatever. Go listen to jazz if you want. <laughs> but for me right now, like that's what I'm like obsessed with. So you know, a master craftsman must be a master of his craft. So I'll okay. put my chops up against Tyga <laughs> any day. Yeah, okay. So tell us a typical day of King Daniel, you know, or a typical week even. We're going through the whole week, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah. So then Monday comes around. We work hard from from dawn until dusk. Tuesday comes around. We work hard dawn till dusk. Wednesday, eh? We, you know, some days. Two, two days, two days. We worked hard from dawn till dusk. Yeah. We're a little tired, so we like take it a little more easy. But we work pretty much from almost dawn till dusk, and so on and so forth until the weekends where we do that whole <coughs> yoga routine. Yeah. And the interviews. But um, usually, uh, yeah, usually I'll have like a show every couple of weeks uh, in some city or another. Um, and then I'll play that show. It's usually like Friday or Saturday. Mm -hmm. uh, my next show is October 24th, Harvard Ooh. and Stone in L.A. That's a Monday night, but it's going to be the best Monday night. Um <laughs> So, yeah, typical week, basically a lot of hard work. But on the weekends, I try to just relax um, and, yeah, work on my art. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Very nice. So where where are you from originally? Ooh. Well, that's part of the mystery of King Daniel. It's okay. like, I like to tell, <laughs> hmm, <clears throat> I was born in northern New Jersey, which is pretty close to New York City, mm -hmm. just in case for people that all right, from New Jersey. <laughs> because, <clears throat> yeah, I was lucky enough to grow up right outside New York City. Amazing arts in New York. My friend's dad uh, was the dean for the new school for jazz and contemporary music. Oh, like, wow. Like, my life growing up. So we would go to, like, pretty supreme concerts and stuff. Yeah. Like, weekly. Like, uh, really getting exposed to a lot of great art. And then in high school... Um, I, you know, I had bands in high school. I was singing songs. Um, that's when I was getting into it. And then, uh, I was in this like really competitive, uh, choir program. And so mm -hmm. then that choir program went and traveled around singing, uh, in Europe to Italy and Austria. Oh, and I was wow. like 16 and I got to yeah. go on this crazy trip. Um, and then I was like, well, this is cool. You know, like. Mm -hmm. I definitely enjoy just going places and singing, people clapping for you. Like yeah. you feel great. Yeah. Then everyone wants to show you like the best place to eat. Everyone wants to show you like the coolest place to go, you know. So it's yeah. like this is the way to travel. Yeah. You know? <laughs> if I'm gonna travel somewhere, this is what I expect, you know. Yeah. The king is traveling. But um <laughs> so that was like my first taste of traveling and uh performing. Um and yeah, man, it's just been quite a journey, you know. Quite then I like I fucking went to college, fucking went home from college. I've moved around. Uh, Where'd you attend in Brooklyn? Co college. Uh, I went to college. Um, I don't even want to talk about it on this interview. I don't want to give those bastards oh. any more money than they fucking <laughs> That's get from perfectly people. Fine, man. <laughs> Honestly, it's like, all good. I feel uh, it's just like could have took me out dinner first before you fucked me like that you know yeah it's just yeah. like ah oh, fuck That's what a lot of people's cases college like wasn't really that mandatory like it wasn't as mandatory as like Your thoughts really all of society oh, makes you yeah. feel it is yeah it's like you want to be a loser or do you want to go to college so all right <laughs> i guess i'll go to college yeah you know but um that's the artist's journey is fucking figuring out that society is a bunch of bullshit Listening to your own inner voice, finding your own voice, mm -hmm. and then making some art with that voice. Going with that and stuff. So, like, are you settled in L.A. and stuff? Or? <clears throat> yeah, I feel like I found my voice in L.A. after I moved to L.A. And um, right when I was moving and right when I moved, 
I don't know. Maybe the, I think it was the day I uh, buzzed off my beard and had this mustache. Maybe that was mm-hmm. the exact day. Yeah. But um, yeah, it's just like when you move away from everything that you uh, might have grown up by. Like I was living in Brooklyn. I was, I was, I lived in Philly. I've lived other places besides where I grew up in New Jersey and everything. But mm-hmm. when you're uh, you're so close to it, you know. It's, the more miles you can get away, the more, um, the more that kind of stuff, uh, that structure and those uh, social artifacts, like they don't really weigh on you as much, you know. Yeah. You're just like, all right, I'm fucking in California. I like smoking weed. It's like pretty much legal here. Yeah. Like, yeah, I'm gonna smoke weed. Like, yeah, <laughs> I like having a mustache. I'm gonna have a mustache, you know. I'm gonna grow out my hair. I'm going to, like, I like singing songs that are about the truth, you know? I'll yeah. say cocaine in a song. I'll talk about cocaine. I'll talk about DMT in a song. Like, we got to tell the truth, guys. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I came out to California. I finally realized how to be honest with myself and my art. And uh, congrats for getting the scoop, guys. <laughs> yeah. Most definitely. And thank you again for coming through, like. This is incredible. So. Hell yeah, man. Well, I'm going <laughs> to fucking rock out some songs. So. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to try out a new song for you guys. Um, I guess it would be called I Ain't Effing Around. Um, this is how it goes. <laughs> I got my hair way high up in the clouds And they try to drag me down But I ain't fucking around I got my Second letter in love But he's just The third letter in love But he's Cause you're everything to me Baby, you're everything And why, why Questions that I ask myself In the night When I am lonely And full of fright Scared that you leave me by And they tried to shoot me down But I ain't fucking around Put me in, put me in (coughs) Well I just wanna make my guy friends laugh Make my girlfriends come and get by and handsome. I just want to get drunk and stoned all on my own and get by and and handsome at the liquor store stocking shelves. Wondering if I should kill myself, but that would be no fun. And then I'm liable to hurt someone Tell my girl let's settle down I think I'm done fucking around But baby well what's one more If I'm a player then she's a whore And I just wanna make my guy friends laugh Just wanna make my girlfriends come Just wanna get by and be 
your answer Just want to get drunk and stoned All on my own Get by on being handsome Hit a party up in the hills Pretend I actually paid my bills And have you ever tried DMT? Or don't you want to sleep with me? Cause I just want to make my guy friends laugh Make my girlfriends come And get by I'm being handsome I just want to get drunk and stoned All on my own Get by I'm being handsome Very, 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 very Handsome